now presents Rehearsing Hamlet, a documentary about Joseph Papp's controversial choice of casting Diane Venora, a then unknown actress, as Hamlet. This is Joseph Papp's 98th production of Shakespeare. Papp has staged Shakespeare in modern dress, set to music, on television, in Central Park, in public schools. In the fall of 1982, he began work on a highly unusual version of Hamlet. The stage will be built here. Even though the stage is up this high, there'll be access to this floor, which is still the stage. It's still the stage, although people will be sitting here. But so an actor can move, a Hamlet in particular, can move away from, from there and then right, move right in amongst the people and do a soliloquy right from here. Good. Joe has an absolute obsession with Hamlet. Literally, when he talks about Hamlet every time, you've, you discover things with him. He's truly a scholar when it comes to Hamlet. He knows every ten different meanings of every word and what it can go to. I mean, the man is, uh, he knows Shakespeare. We've done a total of six Hamlets. So if the actor comes along, or well, there's a reason, you have an idea of different aspect of it that you suddenly discover, and it's worth doing. Just to do Hamlet over and over again makes no sense. The reason to do it is to find the actor. I've never met Joseph Papp until the summer. He approached me during a rehearsal, and he said to me, I'm doing a project which I've been trying to cast a long time, and I think you might be right for it. Now, he'd never seen me act or, or do anything. He's just, Mr. Papp has an incredible sense, which is um, about people. Um, and he says, so let's go read this play called Hamlet. Why a woman? It's ridiculous to have Hamlet with a woman. He was projecting all his feelings here. He says, why do Hamlet with a woman? Everyone asks me that. I have nothing to say. What do you say? He said, I want a woman to play it. I said, well, I haven't read it in a long time. We'll read it. I'll see you next week. We'll read some scenes. So we did. Then he brought in a company of actors. And we all read the play. And at the end, he called me at the uh, Delacorte and said, let's go for it. It's a big risk, but I'm willing to go if you want to go. I said, go ahead. It's terrific. The only just real justification is that she can play the role. She's capable of playing the role. And right now, interests me more as an actor than any other actor, male or female, around for that part. We went through a reading of the play. Yeah. She made me cry just by in the scene with the with the ghost, because Why you're so blue. At all? Uh, at all? Mm -hmm. Why not? You know how many women have played Hamlet? No, I don't. Let me give you some idea. First, aside from the famous actresses who played Hamlet, there are three living actresses who have played Hamlet today: Siobhan McKenna, Judith Anderson. And who's the third yeah, one? Evil uh, Evil Agallion. I guess a lot of women wanted to play, the, play this part because it's a very rich role. We're doing it much later period than Shakespeare, actually. And the way he's doing it now, and a girl playing it, it's much simpler in a later period to put a girl in pants and get away with it easier than if it was Shakespearean days, too. But uh, I know we might get killed for it or not, but I don't care because it's a challenge and we try something new, whatever happens, happens, you know. But now, my cousin Hamlet and my son. A little more than kin and less than kind. How is it the clouds still hang? It's not so, my lord. I am too much in sun. The many, many uh, allusions to that word sun. No, oh, constantly. S-O-N, S-U-N. But, it, they, but he's using them, he's, uh, Shakespeare's using them, as you know. Time is short, really. You should work on a role like this over a period of about a year. S-O-N, S-O-N. I could spend, like, days on one scene, go over and over and, and, and find out every possibility, but I can't. It's a kind of irony. So I'm working as rapidly as I can. What you're saying now is very, very interesting. Well, and she's consuming a lot of things. It's not just working on the stage. The sun. She has to absorb the material. Too much, I should be what you're doing. I'm too much around you. I'd like to, you know, I mean. Yeah. It's many, that's what it means to me. Do not forever with thy veiled lids. Seek for thy noble father in the dust. 
Thou knowest his come. All that lives must die. Passing through nature to eternity. I, madam, it is common. If it be, why seem it so particular with thee? Seems, madam. Nay, it is. I know not seems. Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother, nor customary suits of solemn black, nor the windy suspiration of forced breath. No, but the fruitful river in the eye, nor the dejected behavior of the visage, together with all forms, moods, and shapes of grief that can denote me truly. But these are actions that a man might play. I have that within which passeth show. These, but the trappings and the suits of war. It is sweet and commendable in your nature, Hamlet, to give these morning duties to your father. But you must know your father lost a father. That father lost, lost his. I think maybe the main thing there is the, how you feel about the whole proximity of the situation. Now suddenly he's very close to you. You could smell him. He may even have the lick around his breath. And your mother is right there. It's, it, that already have, must have some effect on you to feel together. On the other hand, it makes you feel like you're part of it. Sullied, like I feel sullied. But you're, par you're, you're part you're of this. You feel good about being Well, I, I think there's something that, 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 that's, that has a soothing effect, too, on the thing, because uh, it's a peculiar contradiction. I would think and this, it's, a, it's a way out idea. Mm -hmm. The way out idea is when someone is in a concentration camp mm -hmm. and, 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 the, um, and, the key, and the guy who's the guard is there and you're weak and that guard is strong, you have an affinity for him. there's a certain kind of feeling, even though he's the worst enemy, that there's some human strength there which you're lacking at the moment and you find a connection of some sort. Even though that person can kill you. Well, it's like it's falling a, in love with your terrorist. You need, same you know. idea. Whoever, whoever in, has life and death over you, you find a fine feeling. It's, it's a very complicated idea, mm. but I, I don't know how much of this we can get. I don't know. But, some, but maybe it's too much. We pray you, throw to earth this unprevailing woe, and think of us as of a father. Or let the world take note. You are most immediate to our throne. I don't sleep at night. How is it that I think wow. about her, and I see her face, and I see what she's going through, and I, I go through the play in my mind. Hold on. I have my own risks, which are personal. But the risks are greater for her, and you have to give a lot of credit because she really is out on a limb. People are just waiting to rip her to shreds if they could. A lot of, a lot of kids, they want to see her fail. And I'm going to, uh, at least if she fails, it will not be because she's not giving a brilliant performance. If, if there's something negative, it'll come because they don't want to see her in the spot. And, uh, but I think she'll do fine because I think she's such a live a live character, so vibrant, full of life, and so deep in her feelings, I think she'll do fine. But I want to make sure she is going to be fine. I'll protect her like I protect my own life. Yes! The fact that she is a woman does enter into the, into the situation. It can't help but do so. Emotionally, I can't help but see her as a woman. Find it. I feel for her as a woman when she's Hamlet. I think of her as a woman when she talks to me. I cannot think of her as a boy. She's not a boy. No matter how boyish she might be, she's, ex she's very female to me. All right, so I go for your leg, for your shoulder, for your underneath. I'm an androgynous female. I embody both things. I'm very feminine at the same time. I'm very... I'm trying to use the word palsy, you know, that'd be a word to use. Uh, I have guts in my own life. 
And from my fate cries out, it'll be you have to hold her. In this play, I didn't reach out to study boys or study how they walk or how they are. I just tap into my own. Then just. My fate cries out! There we go. Then, then what's the next line after my fate cries out? It makes each petty artery of this body as hardy as a Nimian lion's nerve. Still keep holding her, say. It makes each petty artery in this body as hardy as a Nemean lion's nerve. Still am I called, unhand me, gentlemen, or by heaven! Ghost of him that lets him. That's what, no, you'll have your sword. By having, gentlemen, bam, or by heaven, bang, have it out. I'll make a ghost, ghost of him that, that lets me. me, that stops me. In the same way that men are different who play the role, some play it more robustly, some now, play it more effetely, and the more effeminately, and some play it sort of in between. Okay. Away! <laughs> another, that's one way. Another way to do it is to stay there. I'm dealing with, with a woman who's playing this role in a particular way, so I have to deal with her way of adjusting to the situation. And they, and they, then that realization. Then they, then they release you. Or, or, or like wait a second. Or wait, or wait a second. <laughs> or you say, or the away. What, I say away. Who do you say that to? To that both. I say away. I say away. Don't come near me. It can be done another way. Mm -hmm. And move. He works any, any variety of that. But if whatever you, whatever you feel, first we'll see what feels good for that, and then we'll see what's more interesting. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. Then, then we'll do the right thing, right? Normal. First we'll see what feels good, and then we'll get rid of it, right? Okay. That's fair with me. This okay. is to get out of my system. All right. Okay. Feels different. Oh my God. You really feel you're in a room now. Yeah. Well, well, we paint those, all those colors, right? We are, yeah. Oh, yeah. Diane? Yeah, this is the chair I thought we'd be using the. Uh, in the um... This is it? This chair. For the play within the play. Oh, yeah. And one other time, maybe in Speak to Speech. Oh, but feel it. It feels good. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not, it's not comfortable, you, but certainly something, something to sit on. No, it's Hamlet. <coughs> and you put your, try the legs over as you do it, and you sit on the sides. See, that's, that's, that works very nicely. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, one my, happy my, girl. My, my, my. Oh, God. <gasps> ah. My work is done. Do we have something that we have responses, you know, the kettle drum to the, to the cannon and so forth? We have trumpets to kettle drum? Yeah, we have that, a hit, a palpable hit. That would be worth See, it. maybe that would be good to split. We have one come from two extremes. One come from here, the other yeah. from here. Boom, 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 bam, 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 coming that way. Yeah. But for the rest of it, it seemed all right in one place. But maybe you establish this as the place, all right? Yeah, let's just try it here. That's it. Did you see now what do you have? OK. Mm -hmm. Can't be a hunchback to wear these clothes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. It's wonderful. Great. All right. We started that one. Now Hamlet is a traditional play, so there's this awesome, seemingly awesome, um, burden to bear to follow in these traditional steps. Well, last night I got these the Willies, and I said to myself, "That's well, Willie Shakespeare, right?" <laughs> Got the willies. <laughs> oh, I got the willies. Well, you're going to use that forever now. Really well, I got the eyes with the willies in there. So, um, I got the I said to myself, Diane, you're, you're running like a horse too quickly out of the gate. You have to at least know what, you're, what, you're, what, you're, what race you're preparing. But you have to know that. She's, she's new to this. It's, it's, I have to be careful to keep supporting her. The most important thing oh, is her self-confidence. <laughs> oh, good lads, how do you both? That's the indifferent children of the earth. Happy in that we are not over-happy. On fortune's cap, we are not the very button. Nor the soles of her shoe. Neither, my lord. Then you live about her waist <laughs> or in the middle of her favors? Fa her <laughs> private suite. Oh, the secret pass of fortune. Almost true, she is a strumpet. <laughs> 
What news? None, my lord, but that the world's grown honest. It is doomsday near. <laughs> <laughs> but your news is not true. Let me question more in particular. What have you, my dear friends, at the hands of, deserved at the hands of fortune, that she sends you to prison hither? Prison, my lord. <laughs> Denmark's a prison. Then is the world one. A goodly one. In which there are many confines, wards, dungeons, Denmark being one of the worst. We think not so, my lord. Why then, tis none to you. But nothing is either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To me, it is a prison. Why then, your ambition makes it one. Tis too narrow for your mind. Oh, God, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself the king of infinite space. Were it not that I have bad dreams? Which dreams, indeed, are ambition? For the very substance of the ambitious is but the shadow of a dream. A dream itself is but a shadow. Truly, and I hold ambition of so airy and light a quality that it is but a shadow shadow. Aha! Then are our beggars' bodies, and our monarchs and unstretched heroes the beggars' shadows. The text contains such poetry which is condensed feeling ideas i have to clear out exactly what all those words mean their literal meanings the scope of what it where he's going in the play the line through the play and then i say to myself what can i bring to this i can sit and say very I mean, do a poetry reading that costs nothing. Or I can dig deeply inside myself and it will cost everything, which is to challenge my own life, my own fears, my own spirituality, my own inner shadow and blackness. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? Breaks my pate across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face. Tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie of the throat as deep as to the lungs. Who does me this? Ah, swans, I should take it. <laughs> For it cannot be, but I am. Pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter. Or ere this, I should have fatted all the region kites with his slaves of all. Bloody, body villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. Oh, vengeance! Am I? <laughs> this is most brave. There's a way that's, that's the correct. This but oh, that's why oh, it That's why even even the, the, the scene with the ghost, even though I see you want to reach conclusions, you have to in order to do certain things. But there's something that keeps changing in her constantly. Her change of moods is so fantastic. So we talk about her, the Hamlet's mind. It's one mind. It's not crazy or crazy or not crazy. No. It's that, that's the mind. That's the way. When it works, it gets going. If you don't analyze it, it gets all stuck into little patterns. It's impossible. We can't. It's a different, fantastic of shift mind. of mind. And they're able to do that, to shift the mind so drastically, so rapidly sometimes, that uh, people, you, you, you know, it sound, looks sounds like crazy. But actually, she, that's what she does. Nobody can do that. So you wipe out something and you're into something else. And even within a line, you mm -hmm. do that. But you have the capacity to do that. That's, that's, that's what it takes to act Hamlet. <laughs> to be able to just alter so rapidly within a thought. Tear that, just cut that, you raise the thing, which you do. Absolutely essential to play this role. Oh, good. <laughs> you got it, so. Okay. I'll go Hamlet. rest. <laughs> Line. I know not seems. Is it seems good, madam? No, seems. Seems, madam, I know not seems. It is 
I know not seems. Tis not alone, good. Tis not alone, good mother. I'm sorry. Tis not alone, my good mother. Seems, madam. Nay, it is. I know not seems. My child came down with bronchitis. My mother-in-law came down with the illness. And finally, as the play kept going, I, I had suddenly losses of appetite. I didn't feel like eating as much playing this character. Um, I took more vitamin intake. But finally, I ended up with what they all had. It is not. Now it cannot come to good. But break my heart. For I must hold my tongue. <laughs> Take it easy, Diane. Don't, don't, don't uh, try to strain too hard at it. But it was good. You give all you've got in the role. And Shakespeare says to you, so you've given all you've got. Great, good. Now you have to give more. Now more, now more, more, damn you. He says more, more, until your heart and your guts and your brain are pulp and the part feeds on you, eating you. And that's exactly what these kind, this, this play does to me. It, it, it consumes me, it wastes me, and it still says, it's not enough. I don't want to push you too far. You, I want you please to tell me when you're not feeling good. I can tell most of the time by watching you, but you like to do everything, so you're a hard person to keep down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but also see, that I think that the fact that you're feeling a little, t a little you know, under the weather, too, forces you not to be so, you know, so wild in what you do. I mean, you see the situation. Her resources are enormous, but sometimes they can overwhelm the scene. Beggar that I am, I am even poor and thank. But I thank you. She is very physical. Were you not sensible? And she likes to do things. If, if I take that away from her... Is it your own inclining? She loses a bit of confidence. Is it a free visitation? Because her confidence is just not her mind, but her body which she uses so well. Come, come, nay speak. What should we say, my lord? Why, anything but to the purpose. You were sent for. And there's a kind of confession in your looks which your modesties have not crafted enough to color. I know the good king and queen have sent for you. To what end, my lord? That you must teach me. See how deeply you can implore them. Rather than being skittish on the top. Don't be skittish. Be really, truly sincere. That's Open right. the heart Absolutely. and allow it to be late. broken once and, again. That's right. You, that's how many chances you're going to take. God, it hurts. And, and they're going to hurt you again and again and again. See? So we say, if you love me, if you love me, that should come out like the most extraordinary thing. Rather than, if you love me, no, no, it's too casual. This makes the uh, don't. But couldn't it be underneath it? Find this first. Could I cover it? Find it. See, but it's not. It could be underneath. But I want to see that there. See, but I think we're not. We're. we're it's being covered. You just not... feel the cover with no subtext. That's right. Exactly. I don't feel it's been no. But what happens is you laugh during that thing. And that's what gets me. That gets again, undoes gets again. Him. It undoes it. I give him another chance, and then they, they, they cut, me, cut my balls off again. And, excuse me. Is that what it is? And then, it's like that, right? Okay, and, and then, and then the, the line role. you say to him, why did you laugh? <laughs> why did you laugh when I said, Mandela, I stopped? I give you my heart, and you laugh. And you me. laughed at me. Why did you do that? Why did you do that they, to me? They, they will never understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. No, they won't. And that's what makes me a bit off. A bit mad. Okay, I will do what you want. Yeah. But then I think you got plenty. The, 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 to drive the scene is that okay. The players are will help me get to what I want. Okay, but the all right on the players thing. When he says the players are coming, that you love them. Remember the earlier thing we talked about. I still think it's kind of true. It's it's diverting for you, and you want to use them. Could you say, he who plays the king? You're thinking of Claudius. Of course. And you say that already. You're. I'm all those things, though. You see. 
I'm the king. I'm the adventurous knight. I'm the lover. I'm well, all... I know, but you're doing all of that, so... I mean, I'm everything. I, I, you are, in my estimation. Even Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I want to play the lion, too. I know, you can play the lion. <laughs> In, in the scene with the uh, Polonius scene, I come back, you know, how are you, my lover, when I'm, you know, supposed to be in my antic disposition the first time back. Yeah. Um, I made the choice that I am disheveled. Yeah. I'm not wearing any boots at all, I'm wearing socks. Is, is it possible to, to hide this and wear black um, hose? Why don't you take the boot off? Is there a pair of pants that, that could be built that, that were kind of worn, that looked disheveled and had a, you know, had age? A black, you just want a pair of black pants. Yeah. <coughs> I thought they were going to make this much shorter. But um, this is Milo. Milo said this was too much. Yeah. They wanted true. to pull some of this out. I think it needs to be pulled out. So, so do I. It's a sweet old man's shirt. It looks like a you know, Juliet or something. You're right. I mean, we can take a lot out. OK, great. But I will. I'm, I'm just see. so you, you would know that need. See, it's what's hard about clothes. You don't know the needs until you live, live in it. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, I, I found out where I was going to go with that. It wasn't so what Joe wanted originally was someone very glad. Kind of yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Well, See, that's what he yeah, wanted was yeah. a fashion play. But it's not right for me. The thing about my Hamlet is that he's much more raw. He's giving into his passion, his rage, his his disillusionment, his fear of being not, not able to stand up to do. Is that what you're doing now? Is that what you're doing now? Are you finding that? OK, so we're, we're along the same line, anyway. But you suddenly need to do, get off your feet. Yes. It's that kind of a speech, isn't it? Well, that makes me more intellectual. If you feel you're going to die yeah. when you collapse to the floor, for a moment, you get a terror of death. OK. And then you say, you wonder, the thing that brings you as, you, as you start to come to a little bit, is that whether you should, you could prevent that by killing yourself. Why have to go through this suffering? So that, so that the, the notion would be the idea that I, I don't want to die. At least, at least I want to control my death, is what you're saying, in effect. OK. You see what I mean? But uh, that first impulse could be something along that line. Just explore it. Yes, that way it could be that kind of feeling only on the floor. Yeah, if you want to lay like that, see, even this is very, very interesting. But you, so you, girlish. Well, you're lying flat on your back is boyish? It's just rest. I need rest. It's well, literal. I'm well, that's so bourgeois to need just to need rest. We all need rest. So we don't say, bourgeois. but you don't say you're going to kill really yourself. Judge everything. But you're not going to kill yourself just because you need rest. Well, think you're thinking suicide. I'll stand and need rest. We'll just do well, whatever, whatever. I don't know what We're, we're just do. using words now. So, you know, know, do what you feel. Do what you feel about that. But we, whatever the notion is, it's something that, see, see what you are now. See, I find that very interesting, that look. Yeah. Like that. That. See, that's a terrifically interesting look. And it's very Hamlet-like. It is. It's very much like Hamlet-like. Well, the one that you... I am Hamlet. But the Hamlet you are playing now, you see. You understand what I'm saying? I know you are Hamlet. OK. Now, remember we talked about the physique and how, how the, the nature of the, of the being, when, when, he's feel, when Hamlet is feeling terrible, that he sort of collapses Hamlet. in this way. Yeah. So okay. that's what I'm I saying. I will do that. OK. Here we go. Okay. Give it a word, guys. Yeah. I feel bad if she if she doesn't like something and so forth that she has to, I try to solve it some way. And there were days, you know, a few weeks ago when she was really tough. She was like impossible to reach. And I just had to take her by the hand, sit down with her, and saying, "Listen, I'm only doing this play because I want you to be good in it. I'm not going to let you be bad in it. No matter what you what you try, I'm not going to let you be bad in it. You're going to be good in this play." And so I'm, the choices as I see her doing them, I know what people will attack in her. I will never let her get up there to be exposed to it. First of all, she has, she's, she's a woman playing this role. That's enough. He's going to be under some kind of attack for that. But I wanted to be good. I didn't want any criticism of her by doing something really excessive and out of the way, and yet still be full and vibrant. But I wanted to be proper. I wanted to be a noble Hamlet, a classical Hamlet, with all the emotions she has put in the proper place.
be or not to be? That is the question. <coughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache, the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep. Perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Uh, I think that to be and not to be is very good. I think it's, yeah, there and the approach to it is very good. Very simple, very clear. Okay. Ophelia? Yes. You don't walk and pick up those things. It breaks up your speech. Yeah, I know. I... Sit up there, pick what's ever close to you and stay there. Soft, you know, the fair Ophelia. In, in thy orisons, Pion, my sins remembered. Good my lord, how does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well, well, well. My lord, I have remembrances that I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right well you did. And with them words of so sweet breath composed has made the things more rich. The perfume lost, take these again. To the noble mind, rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There, my lord. Means your lord, that if you be honest and fair, your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty, my lord, have better commerce than with honesty? Aye, yeah, truly. For the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a bond. And the force of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometime a paradox, but now time gives it proof. I did love you once. My lord, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. For virtue cannot so inoculate our old stock that we shall relish of it. I loved you not. I was the more deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. <coughs> OK. Can we come out here for a moment? We'll just uh, sort of review a few things. Now, the moment that, that uh, you confront Ophelia... That was weird tonight. Uh, you know... I like mean, that. Well, it made, really made me... Well, what made it weird, it. it made it very soft. And uh, I'm not going to say anything in a derogatory way. Yes, I am saying it derogatory Of course you way. are. I'm going to use that word that soft, or <laughs> love, or bourgeois. <laughs> right. This, so, see, you, you, what you were doing, you were coming out of the to be and not to be, and you held on to that feeling too much. But no, I was, I was, I was really playing the moment. 
This mm -hmm. woman was, was very beautiful to me. Yeah. She was wonderful to me. I mean, there's almost a hope that we could be together again, even though she, she did this terrible thing of giving me back my things. Inside her, the intention that, that Pippa was playing, that Ophelia was playing, was so strong that I, I suddenly wanted to embrace her. You know why? You didn't and you shouldn't? Because you'd not... say, <laughs> well, she's love scene. You're supposed to be mean -ish. That's right. You True should... grit is what this is you called. Should, you, should, you should be very mean to him in this scene. You're not interested in, in Ophelia anymore, really. You're just angry at her because, again, she is betraying you. It's betrayal again, you see. You may even see what she's doing. She's jigging, she's ambling, she's lisping. She's carrying on the same old crap. And that gets you mad when you see that. I must interpret anything that she does into something that is absolutely uh, conspiratorial, see it. manipulative, uh, seduction-wise, but not, not honest. Totally dishonest from the moment, I believe, <laughs> you see her. You're too soon. I'm giving her another chance. I can give RNG. You always want to give people chances. Why not? RNG, I got Love a chance. A little girl who's she. She's this vision of loveliness. I mean, the eye, what appears, what seems, and what is. She seems to be beautiful and lovely and innocent. I must at least play those moments until I see what she really is. Well, wherever you want to take so it. I play it your way. I'll play it you. I'll give it once it's your not, way, it's once not, for my it's way. Not my way. Once for the camera and once for. <laughs> it's not my way. I don't have any way. But you see it, and okay, the you see is that I smell a rat earlier. I think so. I think the reason I say that is a choice is more interesting. I'm not it's, interested it's in more interesting. Scene. No, it's not as interesting this way as against the other way. You are always interesting, but you're I more interesting you do it my way than you do it your way at this particular time. It's, no, it's not even, I'm, not, I'm just being funny about that. I know, I know. I think it's because the, 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 it is the scene that has to erupt and it's savage and it's unrelenting. Yes. It's unremitting. I mean, she, you say you say the first thing, oh, uh, nymph and thy arises be all my sins remembered. My uh, lord, I have to... Uh, my, good my lord, how does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well. No, uh, Now I get nothing from her. Well? Well? My lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have longed long to re-deliver. I pray See, you if you say the well, well, well that you're doing now, yes. if you follow through on that thing, you did, you did well, 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 or come on, what the so hell what are you is doing here? What are you doing here? Okay, come I'll on, do I'm listening. that. That'll be very original, interesting, because you're doing that. Now. Go ahead. Um, my lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. Are you honest? Are you fair? What means your lordship? If you be honest and fair, your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. What do you say after that? I, I did love you once. I think that's, a, I think that's true. I did it love you. Too. I did love you once. I don't love you anymore. I did love you once. Indeed, my lord, you made me believe so. See, pardon me, I don't know. Let's play let, your way. We'll take it from the end of the uh, to be or not to be. Thou dost marry. I give thee this plague for thy dowry. Be thou as chaste as ice, as pure as snow. Thou shalt not escape calumny. Go thy ways to a nunnery. Farewell. Or if thou wilt needs marry, marry a fool. A oh, wise man know well enough what monsters you make of them. To so another we go, and quickly too. Farewell. Oh, 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 I have heard of your paintings too well enough. God has given you one face, but you make yourself some better. You dig, you amble, and you lisp. You misname God's creatures and make your wantonness your ignorance. Now go. No more marriage. Those that are married already, all but one shall live. The rest shall keep as they are. To a nunnery.
It's going to be very hard for me to depart from this play when we open it, I tell you, because my life has been rolling along on this play. It's true for, for most plays, but particularly for this play, because it's so deeply rooted and, and forces relationships that you wouldn't have in other plays, because you must explore death, really explore it. And Shakespeare gives you so much. It isn't a casual play or a superficial play about death. There have been plays about death before, plays about cancer and plays about this. But Shakespeare begins to probe into the very psyche of death and the persona of death. I mean, he goes into it on such a level that you're forced to go into your own body and, and in touch places that you ordinarily would not consider. You do it together. Come, let's go in together. He says, the time is out of joint, oh cursed spite, that ever I was born to set it right. I begin to feel that way myself. The players, in a funny way, through all their pretension and makeup and costume, are honest. They dare to touch passion, which people in everyday life can't handle. Hamlet is, is dealing in a world that's like the world of the ghost. He's dealing in a, in a universe of feeling. That's why it's so complicated a role. The greatest secret of man is in this character. I do not well understand that. Will you play upon this pipe? My lord, I cannot. I pray you. Believe me, I cannot. I beseech you. I know no touch of it, my lord. It is as easy as lying. Rub on these bandages with your fingers and thumb, give it breath with your mouth, and it will discourse most eloquent music. Look you, these are the stops. But these cannot I command to any utterance of harmony. I have not the skill. <clears throat> Why, look you now. How unworthy a thing you make of me. You would play upon me. You would seem to know my stops. You would pluck out the heart of my mystery. You would sound me from my lowest note to the top of my compass. And there is much music, excellent voice in this little organ. Yet cannot you make it speak. Sprout! Do you think I am easier to be played on than a pipe? Call me what instrument you will, though you can fret me, you cannot play upon me! It's almost like to be or not to be. It's very natural. Uh, it should be quite natural, with full expression where you need it. Before. You'll find that'll, that'll help it tremendously. Okay. Okay, we'll see how the second act. You have plenty now. You have plenty of time for Manic in the second act. You do a lot of things here. Okay. Your voice sounds good. It sounds very good. Really? Yeah. Opening night is extraordinary. The extra kick, the extra sensation gets, gets you through the race. It's a wonderful time because you're very scared. And that's when everything is possible. That's what it takes to act Hamlet. <laughs> to be able to just alter so rapidly within a thought. Tear that, just cut that. It raises things, which you do. Absolutely essential to play this role. Oh, good. <laughs> you got it, so. I'll go rest. <laughs> Suspended in thy will. But now, my cousin Hamlet and my son are little more than kin and less than kind. How is it that the clouds still hang on you? Tis not so, my lord. I am too much in the sun. Shakespeare deliberately left the character, the nature of the character, ambiguous. There's no way to say, this is the mystery of Hamlet. If the answer were in the play, then after a while, if you've done enough of it, you'll say, now I know it. But I don't, because it's not there. Hamlet is what he is. You will lose this wager, my lord. I do not think so. Since he went into France, I have been in continual practice. I shall win at the odds. But thou wouldst not think. 
How ill all is here about my heart. But it is no matter. It is but foolery. Good, my lord. But it is such a kind of game giving that would perhaps trouble a woman. If your mind dislike anything, obey it. I will forestall their repair hither and say you are not fit. Not a whit. We defy augury. There is special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. There's always something in me, this vicious mole of nature in me, that struggles Remember me. to find a reason, a meaning. Why? Oh, God! Horatio, what a wounded name, thing standing thus unknown, shall live behind me. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, absent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. What warlike noise is this? Young Gordon Ross, with Congress come from Poland, to the ambassadors of England, here's this warlike cry. I, I die, Horatio. This poked and poisoned quite all crows my spirits. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election lights on Fortin Ross. He has my dying voice. So tell him with the occurrence more and less which have solicited. Oh, boy. 